Hello, everyone, and welcome to the, I don't know, this is like 11th, 10th, something, Black Sessions. Today, we're discussing episode three, season three uh, of Black Mirror. This episode is called Shut Up and Dance. Wow. It was, I think it was one of the most shocking episodes or more, I, I would say shocking and, and intense episodes of the series for me so far. I would say that this one could be as intense as the one of White Bear, where the black woman was being um, accused of killing a baby. Remember that episode? Yes, yes. Uh, that was shocking too. I think this one is pretty similar. It has to do with similar stuff. And um, for me, it was intense. I really enjoyed the episode and I think that this gave me hope once more in Black Mirror. We were in the previous meetings we were saying that Black Mirror was going a little bit down, like the previous episode was not that good, that maybe the show was going somewhere else, that it has changed from the previous seasons. And I think that in this episode, they brought it back. They brought the drama, the, intense, the intensity, and the social conflict back. So, and it finally changed the topic. It's no longer about social media, this is about other issues. So. I would like to start by hearing your opinions on the episode, like general ideas, if you like the episode or not, how did you feel about it, or if you want to make any important comments on the overall or the gist of the episode before we get into the discussion, okay? So, starting with the old ones, uh, Kathy, what are your thoughts, opinions, reflections on the episode? Um, yeah, in this episode, I like because uh, um, it wasn't scary than the last one. <laughs> and this episode show about um, how people prefer um, do anything else, anything uh, for or than don't show your secrets. Yep. Yeah, to hide your secrets. You're you're willing yep. to do everything to hide your secrets. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're gonna talk about this secret actually. I think that there is a interesting deep discussion we can have on the secret itself and how we how we keep our privacy or what we consider private or not. So yeah. Uh, you how what how was what was your feeling after watching the episode? Sadness. Um, I don't know, commotion, what happened to you? Mm, I feel uh, I suffer a little in, in some part of the, um, this guy or this person, um, um, he won't do anything or things bad. For example, when they, ha they had to fight until yeah. one of them, one of them was died. There. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yes. It's like, oh no. I, I watching. I watching this episode in the night. I always watch in the night. <laughs> and I think, oh, uh, come on. Uh, um, I wish that um, it wasn't scared. Yeah. Because the last one, I suffer a lot of. Yeah. You got scared. <laughs> yes. In this time, not, but I feel bad when, when you, um, he, this guy show about the, the fire, fight, sorry. When I, the I, in the fight moment, you, you feel like, yes, I, I at yeah. that time I was, I think that it was a few moments in which I wanted to like hit this kid, like, like stand up and do something or shut up and dance is like the same thing sad yeah but yeah i feel like i feel a little bit hello welcome hello paula no she's not <laughs> listening yet uh there she is hello welcome paula hey hi i'm sorry hi. don't I'm worry late. don't worry <laughs> okay don't worry uh so i was saying that at some stages of the episode i really hated the kid i mean he's not a kid but he's a young, very young man. I, I hated him. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was like, oh, God, like, be a man. Or, or I mean, a man not in a sense like male, but being a grown-up adult and confront the situation. Uh, but at the same time, it was sad, especially in those cases or when he was peeing himself. 
or he was in a constant state of, or and he was, a, I, I think that he was, he did a great performance in the role. He yeah. really seemed stressed and that was touching. So yeah, I feel it, I feel the episode was touching. Like um, you could like empathize with the characters and, and feel what they were feeling. So uh, Javier, how, how, how about you? How did you feel with the episode? Well, I enjoy it. Uh, this, um, you say capitals? Capitals? Or, Sorry? Uh, what do you say the capital? The episode. You can talk about <laughs> the episode. I enjoyed the, the episode. Uh, but uh, I think it's necessary to keep attention in your action in all your life, including when you stay alone, because I know if you, it's possible to uh, see what is the uh, people maybe are in front of your screen. It's, it's, it's very dangerous. Um, I think that the technology, the, this is the bad uh, idea about the technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It uh, makes the sense. Technological, yeah. Items. Uh, but in general, the, the the this uh, um, episode was great. I think I, I yeah. felt really nervous all uh, episode, and is possible so different emotional uh, season into the 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 episode. Uh, for example, I, I don't remember the name. Maybe it's Kenny. Kenny? Kenny, Kenny was the cake. Mindy. Uh, Mindy was the prostitute. Mindy. Yeah, Mindy sent the cake. Yeah, maybe he had the problem with the different uh, society because uh, he had he had the, a little problem with the um, uh, were mates, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The they, yeah, they were they were the co-workers. Yeah, co-workers. Maybe he can't uh, manage man the well uh, way the problem, include the uh, old man. I don't remember maybe uh, the name. Maybe I don't Ivan Ivanov. Ivan. Maybe Ivan. I, I think it was, but I don't. I don't remember. I remember him from other show, so I can, can remember his other name. Uh, but yeah. yeah. So you were saying? Yeah. No. In general, I, I enjoy a lot, but all. Uh, episode, I felt nervous about the the, the different uh, um, actions about the the hackers. Yes, um, I think I agree. Like I was thinking that the episode had um, too many emotions. Like there were moments to feel anxious, moments to feel sad, moments to feel angry, moments to feel afraid. Uh, uh, a little bit paranoid. Uh, I think that we all at some stage were like, oh my God, what if this happens to me? Maybe not, not like we all watch child porn, <laughs> but uh, what if they are watching you doing something that you don't want anyone to know? Or uh, I don't know, <laughs> cats love cats. Don't worry, it's perfect. You can leave it there. <laughs> it just makes it better. It just makes it better. Love it. Mines are over there. So, um, so yeah, I think that I, we, we could all be victims of this. We all have some dark secrets. Maybe some are really heavy, like this kid that he had a, a heavy secret of liking child pornography. But maybe uh, for some people, they don't want to know that, I don't know, you um, Google how to spy on your boyfriend. And that is your secret. And all that information is available for someone who knows and who can easily, very easily access it. So um, I think that at some stage, I really sat for a while and I was like, I should cover my screen. I should cover my camera. I should cover my mic, <coughs> but I can't like, because I work with this. <laughs> I spent all day in front of the camera. They know everything about me. <laughs> Kathy, go. I, I have a question that I, I don't understand. Um, he, he or this guy and the, the man, uh, the guy uh, watching pornography, yes? The protagonist? With yes, with kids? Yes, it was child uh, pornography. 
Yeah. And the the man, it's uh, it's for the prostitute. Yes. Yeah. I, I thought I, at some stage I thought they were all involved in in pedo pedophiles. Like I don't know. Mm -hmm. I thought Mindy was maybe a little girl, and the because the the man in the forest, the one he had to kill. Uh, was also a pedophile because he asked him how old were they uh, that yeah, means yeah, that yeah. probably he was pedophile too but the woman of the beginning of the episode she was a yes, judge the, and the, she was accused of racism not pedophile not being a pedophile uh, so they were blackmailing bad people not okay. only pedophiles so uh at least two of them were involved in pedophile in pedophile, in pedophile pornography so, but yeah, but Kenny was involved. And now, uh, before I hear your opinions, I was, yeah, maybe I mean there was a sport. Uh, yeah, no, she was, she was, uh, but I don't know if we're going to discuss the crimes involved because to be honest, I don't know if meeting a sport or just watching some, any kind of pornography means that you are a criminal. I don't know. We're going to talk about that. But before I would like to hear the newcomers opinions on the episode. Uh, Karen, you, your microphone is activated, so it will be easy for you to start. Uh, how did you feel with the episode? What are your general ideas and opinions? Well, I have to confess that I already know. I already watched the episode uh, a yeah. few years a ago. A lot of us are doing it for um, the second time. It was, it was very shocking. And from this moment, I, from, from this moment, I... Uh, uh, You'll cover your, I, your camera. I, yeah, yeah. I You'll cover, cover all my camera. cameras. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's I not only the computer; it's also the cell phone. Yeah, I do with the, with the two. <laughs> Even the TV. And and um, yeah, but my TV is not intelligent, so yeah, <laughs> it's not my smart. TV is stupid. <laughs> this is not <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a smart TV. Yeah, uh, but um, I I I. I think that the thing that I I think I I was more shocking for me is is what do you say about the hackers? How easy they can uh, go into your your life in, in your computer in your all all uh, things that you have in there. It's, it's about that, and I think also about how much information we're putting in just one device. Yeah. And it's just, it, it's not even a device, it's a virtual cloud that is storage all your information, all your data. So it's like, okay, we have the hackers, they can easily access it, but it's also you putting all your information in front of them. <laughs> so so it's, it's both, and, and it's about... I don't know, uploading something or I mean, downloaded something and not reading the the uh, terms and agreements and giving permission to different, to, I don't know, check your age on Facebook and uh, giving your info, giving away your information to you know, who knows what. So there is a yeah. saying. For example, the, this yeah. guy uh, have the, the, they give the, the access to hacker uh, when he's done late, uh, uh, antivirus, antivirus. Yes, the antivirus. And the spyware. I, I already do many times this. <laughs> so I was thinking of the same. In that scene when they're showing, okay, you have a malware. Oh yeah, yeah. So what do you do? You go to Google and Google anti-malware software, and the first one that comes to you, accept, download. Yes. I've done that. For it's just like many that. Times. <laughs> Yes, it's just like that. And it's like, oh my God, that could be me. So um I I agree. I I sorry, I got lost. I had I had an idea in mind. Ah, uh, so yeah, I think it's this episode is about the consequences of those things we we think are meaningless and how much information is power, especially nowadays, and how much the problem is not technology. The problem is how, what we do with technology. So uh, it's, it's also uh, the life uh, today. Yeah, life it's, today is, is it's that. It's yeah. like that kind, there are many people watching that pornography. There's nothing you can do about that. 
sorry. And there are many people using the information and there are many people being blackmailed right now. So this is like everyday stuff for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Daddy, or maybe, maybe, yes. I, I, I never, uh, well, no, no, te. I know. Uh, I didn't don't notice? know. Yes, I didn't know it that uh, he wasn't, he watched uh, child pornography. But in this moment, I think, um, why don't calls for police to police? Yes. So because he could have had to admit that he was being exactly. black with child pornography. Mm -hmm. A child, yes, because I think it's normal when you watch TV or, or porn in this society, obviously. But in my case, uh, yes, and I call, I, I call to police. Yeah, I, I was from the very beginning. I was like, why doesn't he, why doesn't he just like okay? We none of us want us want anybody to see our video. You are not your microphone is now activated. Uh, yeah. So yeah, like it's no one normal. wants. But, but yeah, but you, no one here wants the rest to see you performing your, giving yourself pleasure. <laughs> so it's like yeah. your, your moment, your privacy. Okay, I get it. Not child, not with but, child. But yeah, always. no, but if it, regardless, like it doesn't, I mean, I think that if that happened to me, I would be more embarrassed than by, than simply the fact that they know, I, I don't know, I watch porn. But I, I would be embarrassed of people knowing what I watch in porn, regardless if it's meaningless porn or child pornography. But it's like your, your fantasies, your secrets. That's the private part, I think. So I was from the beginning, I was like, this is definitely not about, because at the beginning I was like, oh yeah, he's a teenager, stupid teenager. But then as he became more and more involved, I was like, oh, he's doing something wrong here. This, this, it cannot be just porn. So yeah. Yeah, but it, it's something is strange too. Uh, uh, that uh, watch pornography or child pornography is not a crime, but uh, he 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 get he get involved in other crimes yeah. for the only reason that uh, the more people don't watch in her secret. So, so now he is so, in serious problem, like because yes. that's exactly what the hackers I think wanted. They couldn't, they cannot, uh, like I don't know, ruin your life just because you watch uh, um, pornography with ki with children. It's not enough of a reason. I don't think it's a reason at all. Uh, but they can ruin your life if you if you rob a bank, if you kill a yeah. person. And that's how they took their revenge because all the people involved committed crimes that after all are going to be punished. So whether you're not going to be punished because you are immoral, but you are going to be punished because you are a criminal uh, and you are a criminal after all. So yeah, we're, go we're getting into the discussion. I would like to hear Natalia's opinion on the episode before we get into the discussion of the crimes. Natalia, how do you feel? Uh, in my personal opinion, in the episode titled Shut Up and Dance, I don't know what is the name <laughs> of Black Mirror, I was definitely feel very strange. I am not sure if I really enjoyed the episode, <laughs> but the good things is that it invites to reflect on the society. Uh, when I was watching in, I was very confused because I did not understand what happened and what the virus wanted with the main actor. Uh, this feeling intensified when the episode ended because I understand more uh, where I think I understood the plot. Uh, and the learning, my personal learning is that when you do something wrong, there is nothing you can to do to avoid the consequences. That in general, my personal opinion. Yes, it's the consequences of those micro tiny decisions we make that we think maybe are meaningless. Like, oh, I'm not, because he's not hurting anybody by watching this porn. It's, he, he, it's not like he's committing the crime. He's not recording the videos. 
he is not uploading like we don't we don't know maybe he did but we don't know in the episode but yeah the consequence yeah but he's yeah he's a dangerous person because he likes child so i he I, I want to go in into a... the discussion i want to go exactly there <laughs> Because that's the idea. I don't know. I yeah. Okay, yeah. One second. <laughs> Please hold that thought in your brain for a, for a okay. second. I would like to hear Paola now, and before after that we get right there. Was it a crime? Is watching child pornography bad by itself? Mm. We'll see. Paola, welcome. I would like to hear your opinions and thoughts, reflections, general reflections on the episode. How did you feel? If you like it or not? Oh, um, I'm sorry, I can't see the episode. You couldn't um, watch the episode. Oh, I'm no. sorry. Um, I'm just. Yo solo quería venir a escuchar la primera yeah, vez. It's okay. Perdón. It's okay to be a listener. We have many, many, many people here that mm -hmm. actually come and just listen. So don't worry. Thanks. Uh, it's completely <laughs> accepted. It's accepted behavior. So um, every time if you, if any of you wants to like feel too much pressure, like, oh my God, because some people get tired of speaking in English and thinking too much in English. So just comment and we, we take a break. Don't worry. Veronica, what about you? Would you like to join the discussion or you're a listener too? Um, hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Um, Hello. Yeah, I, I, I just I watch, watched the, the chapter. Yeah. Um, I don't know uh, uh, that I, I, uh, I, I don't have an opinion because it's a very controversial. Uh, I don't know. I feel uh, angustiada, no sé cómo se dice. Yeah, we were like sorry yeah. in in a uh, in all the ep episodes. <laughs> yes, we were saying that it had a lot of emotions, many emotions, like yeah, fear, I feel angry. I, yeah, but the the boy, the the, the yeah the, the the Kenny. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know when I I saw I watched the the he his pro worry his concern uh, I I feel pain. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. I think it I think it was intended for you to feel bad for him. He was desperate. Yes. Yeah. This is my opinion. <laughs> and he seems and he seems like a little. I, I, they 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 teach you that he's not in a school, so he's probably like nineteen or twenty. Yeah. But uh, he looks like fifteen. Mm. So mm. I think that they made that on purpose, so that way you feel worse for him. Like you could feel his sense of helplessness. Like oh my god, what's gonna do now? What I'm gonna do now? What am I gonna do now? I would be. I think if I when I was his age, I would be the same. Now. We're getting into the discussion here. And this is where things get complicated because uh, we always get into moral, difficult, philosophical discussions. Uh, so uh, the idea is that we express whatever thoughts we, we have here, regardless if they are maybe not what most people would expect. Sometimes we have people here supporting ideas that are pretty against other people's ideas. So that's, that's actually the idea. So, um, speaking on the crimes, we have, um, we don't, I don't remember exactly what happens with the first woman, with a judge that was accused, accused of being a racist, but we are, we, sh we are shown that uh, our protagonist watch child pornography, just watch child pornography and masturbated while watching. Um, we have this uh, man, oh, someone's coming, God, he's coming. Uh, we also have this man uh, who, who took, who come to hire, sorry, I got distracted, who hired a prostitute uh, behind his wife's back. I don't know. We can consider that a crime. Uh, we don't know the age of the prostitute. Maybe that's the bad part of it. 
We didn't know how old Windy was. Uh, and we have other men at the end in the forest who also watch child pornography. So those are the three, the, the, the two main crimes, hiring, hiring a prostitute and watching pornography. Hello, friend, welcome. Um, he was waiting. What, what happened? Sorry. Uh, Jorge, welcome. Can you listen? Can you hear us? Hello, hello. There you are. Welcome, sir. Uh, before we <clears throat> get into the, into the deep discussion, I would like you to share your opinions on the episode, please. My? Yes. Hi, welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi. So we, we are waiting yeah. for your reflection. Uh, well, uh, uh, about the episode, um, I don't watch the episode for the second time. I, I watched this episode uh, around 2017, but I remember, I, I remember uh, how, how this episode uh, care about. So I think this is one of the more morbid episode of Black Mirror is a great word because, morbid. because the what kind of pe pedophile pedophile thing of the protagonist and and the treat of the of the main um, kid, kidnapper of of her of his um, of his uh, dominion of internet so he can watch it's like a like omniscient yes omnipresent it's like omnipresent yes omnipresent omnipresent relator or narrator uh, narrator narrator because he can do whatever he want uh, with um with the guy with the protagonist so this is so morbid and so weird because uh, he always gave the control of the main emotions of, sorry, I don't remember the name because I, I Kenny. want to say his. Kenny? Yes. Okay. And it's like an episode and when you know uh, when the final is going to be bad. Yes. There's no single option to be a, a happy ending or... Anyway, it's Black like Mirror. Black Mirror, it's like... That's the usual Black yes, Mirror. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, I know, I know. But in this, in this episode in particular, uh, we can see this... Uh, this um, uh, let me say, uh, contribution of the director to, to pretend to the main protagonist will not gonna be safe after all. And I think in the um, moral, moral way, moral, yes, moral. moral ethic, oh. ethic and moral way, it's, it's maybe it's, it's gonna be uh, sound so cold, but I think that uh, he's got what he deserves, Kenny, about Kenny. He got what he deserved, you think? Oh yeah, so taking that in consideration, I would like to stop in your last words, my friend, because that's exactly what I think the most important. And the, I've been thinking about this the whole day. Um, I watched the episode last night and today I've been thinking like, is it a crime? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? So I would like to start by saying that, of course, I don't think ped pedophile is okay. Of course, but like I think that uh, you have to be a grown up, mature person to have a sexual intercourse. Pedophiles are, for me, um, mentally ill person people. I think that um, I think that there is something wrong with their brains, and that they cannot help it. That's that's me. So I think that as a society, we have to take care of these people and punishment is won't change the problem. 
I think that uh, it's maybe we've we've discussed this before about uh, what we do with people who are mentally uh, affected and that how these people affect our society and what do we do with them? We kill them, we, we take them away, we put them in jail and do nothing, just lock them down. It's a long discussion. So I think that pedophiles are people who cannot help the situation. So I think that we should help them somehow. And I think that the, the ones that act on their desires against kids are criminal. But when it comes to sexuality, we don't know much because it's such a complex world. We're all different human beings and we all get a stimuli from different things and we all have different backgrounds and those backgrounds and everything that you experience in your life can determine what turns you on or what doesn't turn you on and can determine your sexuality. So I think that for whatever reason that Kenny got into child pornography and for whatever reason that that excites him or make or he wants to masturbate in front of that i personally believe that okay there is something wrong with him but he's not criminal i think that the crime is not thinking or getting horny by something or getting excited i mean being sexually attracted to whatever some people get attracted to animals and some other people get attracted to black people and some other get attracted to white people, some other Asians, some other, uh, I don't know, some people get, I remember watching an episode of someone that liked um, uh, balloons, globos, balloons. He was attracted to balloons, seriously. So I cannot understand that person as much as I cannot understand the pedophile. But at the same time, I know that just because for me it's not enough of a reason to consider that person a bad person i think that there is something wrong just that so i considered that he did not commit a crime it was wrong he needed help but i don't think he got what he deserved because if he had uploaded the material recorded the kids or take part in the process of making the porn, I think he's a criminal. If not, I think he's just a sick person. So, uh, and when it comes to the other man, the, the, the co-protagonist of the episode, I don't remember his name, uh, he hired a escort. We don't know if she was old or not, uh, but he was just a escort. So I don't think that cheating on your wife is a crime either. So I think that they were not looking particularly for criminals to punish the, the hackers. They were looking for people, vulnerable people to manipulate. Not about the crime itself, not about the punishment, like, oh, we are the vengers of society and we want to punish pedophiles. It's just because it's easy to push you when you are watching something as, as immoral as child pornography. But that's me. Um, Kathy, what do you think? Oh, um, oh, eh, oh. I'm sorry for eh, asking you. <laughs> um, it's, it's difficult because it's about the child, or about child, obviously. But I agree with you when you say that this type of person um, are more vulnerable, yes, and um, they are a few instability mental no i i i don't want to say that this person is a mental seeker como enfermo mental mentally no. ill yeah no no it's maybe they they had a problem or they have reason for make this type of things <laughs> or maybe it's something that just happens to him maybe he feels yes sexually attracted to the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and the protagonist, no, the co-protagonist, yes. I think that this type of things is more normal than what videos of type, obviously. But uh, it's not a crime, I think. But for example, uh, try to uh, die people in the bank. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, to rob a bank, that's a crime. 
This is a crime. Exactly. Yes. Or or to kill someone. On that. Of course, it's a crime to kill someone on the forest. Yes, so that's if, we were saying that. Yes. For for example, if I can, we, uh, we can hear you. Careful with the microphone. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. Sorry. Uh, I. Yes, yes. Perfect. Yeah. High definition. For example, if. <laughs> if tomorrow I meet a guy and this guy tell me, um, I don't know, one or two times um, he pay for sex, for example, or meet a escort, I don't know, what can you do? O sea, it's normal. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's here. It, it's is his sexuality. Yes. Yeah. It's not I mean, not problem. It depends on the person. That's that's I think that, that that in that case I would be the same. Like I don't like it. Maybe you are not the man I want mm. like for me. But whatever, it's your life. You're not hurting anybody. Everything was like no no one got affected. It's just that I don't like you or I don't agree or what I think this episode is about. Just like White Bear, the one with the woman who was in this reality mm. show. I think it's about how much we impose our standards in society forgetting that there when it comes to values and moral especially moral and ethics they can change and, and they depend on on the person they depend on the history of that person we don't understand the reasons maybe this kid was as uh, abused as a kid and he developed this complex which happened we don't know the background and the same thing happened with the other episode. We don't know what took her there or we don't know what took him there. And we don't know if that makes that a bad person. You, know, you don't know what the other person watch when it comes to porn. Maybe your best friend, the person you, or your father, your mother is doing the same. And that won't change the great person, your father, your mother, your best friend is with you. Um, Natalia, you were saying that at, the, at some stage you said that you thought he was a dangerous person. So I would like to hear your opinion on this topic. Yes, maybe right now is not a dangerous person because he did in a crime, but I think uh, he did something wrong. So in the future, maybe he could or become, became a dangerous person. Um, yeah. But right now, I agree with you about he's only grown and maybe he needs help. Uh, maybe, I don't know, because I think it's very difficult, it's very hard to explain what I am thinking right now. Uh, because uh, when I finish the episode, I understand. <laughs> so um, when I saw the episode, I didn't understand why he didn't call the police uh, the same uh, Catherine. Catherine is uh, so something similar. But about uh, his behavior is, I don't know. I need him to help, but uh, how? Because he, it's probably, he don't say it, uh, his friends about he like child pornography or Does it his look like mom, it's very secret. So it's difficult to find the correct help. Yes, I uh, think that you, would, you wouldn't say that to anyone. Only to a psychologist yeah. or psychiatrist, maybe. Only in maybe. maybe. But yeah. So uh, I think that I, that's why I was saying that I think that we all have dark secrets. They don't. They don't. Not all involved with with sexual things, but we all have secrets, like things that we don't want anybody else to know because we made we, it could be a mistake for some people. I don't know. Their their dark secret is that they cheated on a test, and for them, for their values. That is terrible. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't care. And now for a pedophile or I don't know, a zoophilic that has fantasies with animals and does not uh, rapes animals, or no, but just fantasies, maybe someone watching child pornography would not be a crime at all. So it depends on each one's perspectives as long as you don't hurt anybody else. But now the potential, 
but can the, but at the same time we 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 can face that with the fact that people can change and that we have therapy and that the idea of putting someone in jail is to to like to help that person reincorporate in society so Tati, okay you are complaining that I, I i am Tati. that's my nickname that's why he's calling me like that so you're saying that i'm, I'm saying i'm always i'm i think i am very social for those of you who don't know me i am very i always think in society as a grand thing so maybe that's why my friend is making this comment what do you think jorge patricio do you think that it was a crime is it a crime for you to watch i think you don't have limits i don't have limits or he doesn't you have like limits? you like the maybe the same dog again <laughs> sorry i am outside outside at my house yeah don't worry because i'm just arrived i'm just arrived so it's a lot i think you your moral it's always always constructed in a pathological of pathological way about the our psychics of all particular psychics in our mind you well, sorry for the rest of us because mm -hmm. i am a friend of, of alicia i know she likes the psychopath killers documental series and <laughs> that kind of stuff yeah i like i like psychological and, I, and, and it's okay it's a it's a lot of people who, who likes to enjoy these uh, mental issues but how how you can be so moral ethical correct and justify every kind of mental issues i think it's we know we, we need a society uh, a barrier um, a division between this kind of people and the work we have to to do as a society with this kind of people and ar argue argumentar argumentar también uh, argumentar argue, a favor argue Ar yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> ar <sorry. Arf>, <laughs> yeah it's okay it's okay argue uh, about this, about these people and and i i don't know if if we are the pr prosecutor it's fiscal no yes. pr prosecutor when when we see this kind of actions and we 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 always have a, a lawyer, defense, defense or lawyer of this kind of attitudes. So we are in 2021 and in the world, we are currently in maybe 8 billion of people. So we have these sick people, this sick kind of people. So uh, maybe can be a pedophile of sociopaths, psychopaths. And we, we are progressar, ah, eh, mejorar. Moving towards, progress. we're going moving forward, we're moving forward. towards. Or just, or, or we are just like in 2000. I, I get your point. I, I think that exactly we haven't um, evolved that much in society. For example, pedophiles were a part of our history in the 1900s. They are now, we don't know if they're going to be, we don't know how long this, uh, probably these things have happened. Like when it comes to sexual attractions, they've been weird or, or strange forever because we are individuals and like we were saying, everything affects how you feel attracted to something. Paola was, um, was making some comments that I would like to go deeply into. Uh, she was saying that I think the first, uh, the financing the industry, I agree, of course, like every time you watch porn, you finance the porn industry. And there are many things wrong with the porn industry. But I think that's a whole different discussion that would need another episode <laughs> of, of another meeting for that the particular discussion when it comes to financing the, in the porn industry. Um, I think we all agree in that sense that it's wrong, but the, now, into the other comment you made, I think that we can have a discussion here. Now, the limits. We have to, you said that we need to set limits to our fantasies. 
Yeah. How can we establish those limits? Because what are the limits? What I think are the limits? Who are we going to give the power, the church? Like they used to do that. They used to set the limits, the church. And we were against that because I don't know, they prohibited homosexuality because for them that was out of the limit. And it's, so I think that setting limits to behaviors and to things that sometimes we cannot help, like that we cannot avoid that are just who we are or things that you can keep as a secret without hurting other people or things that, I don't know, society costs you. It's really difficult. Um, it's like, I don't know, I think this is where we get into topics like abortion or eutanasia, 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 eutanasia. Pero me parece que cuando hablamos, ay, perdón. Oh, oh my God, no habla español, no habla español, perdón. No habla. <laughs> But if you feel too shy, you can write your, your answer if you want. Okay, okay no problem. We, we read your comment right away. Kathy, go ahead, please. Yes, I think that uh, these limits um, maybe can um, it's for example when your your fantasy or your behavior affect to another person it's bad but your personal fantasy it it doesn't limit doesn't have limit because yeah. it's personal and it's fantasy exactly yes or or I don't know if you're if you want a uh, make um Tri or... Yeah, whatever, orgies, yeah. fingers, whatever you want your, to put on it. It's your fantasy, but if you, you, no, como se dice causar? Make cause, pain. If you cause, cause pain. Cause pain to another person that this person don't, don't want it. It's bad, yes. Yes, I remember. For me, this is the limit. I, I agree. I think that's the only limit. I think that we are free to do whatever we want as long as we touch somebody else's freedom, like the saying. Um, so if you abuse someone, you are trespassing their freedom. If, um, so yeah, of course, I, I couldn't defend a pedophile that rapes a kid. I would never do that. But I don't think like someone that just get, feels sexually attracted is of course i wouldn't leave that person with my kids i mean or i would <laughs> not think that he's a great guy but the, the the truth is maybe you don't know if the the person next to you who you think is a great guy or girl watches pornography or child pornography or maybe he's a soft feeling you don't know we don't know have you Um, do you think that it could be possible or it could be a good, for example, let's say we develop this system where we can scan the brain because they've been doing this with psychopaths. As Jorge says, I am very keen into psychology and criminal psychology. So let's say they create a scanner that scans your brain and tells you, no, you know, this person has feels attraction for kids. And this person here is going to be a homosexual. This person here is going to be a straight and he's going to be a psychopath. Maybe as a kid. And if we had, the, if we had that, that, that tool, do you think it could be useful or good for society to prevent potential behavior? As Antalya was saying, that potentially he could become a pedophile. Do you think that it could be beneficial for us just yeah, prevent definitely. this? It, it maybe I think it's uh, very useful. And Carly, uh, I think this uh, idea is possible so in different aspects in in the different companies. For example, I every year we have a psychologist for evaluate the different workers because it's necessary to identify what is the different features about the, the mental or physical uh, characteristic. And if you have a specific mental condition, you can work in this workplace or no, it depends. Uh, obviously, if you can detect, for, for example, um, a fantasy with kids, it's not possible to work with kids. 
Yeah, and but, but for other, other jobs, it wouldn't be a problem. Maybe, but uh, it's possible to detect what is the best people for work with a specific situation. I think it's very useful. Yeah. I, have I, a three, yeah. I don't have a teacher with this kind of, uh, with this kind of uh, fantasy. I, I think it's, it's really bad for the society, for school, when you work in this situation, I try to uh, keep uh, care with the kids. But yes. obviously, it depends on your mind. If you have a kid, maybe you have another kind of... Uh, but, but maybe, I, um, my point is, maybe I, I try to think as like as a psychopath or as a pedophile. I try to say, yeah, okay, let's say uh, I'm a teacher. I work in, I don't work in school, but let's say I work in a school. I could okay. feel attracted or or that but because that I've seen that with with grown men that uh, I don't know flirt with 16 year old girls that look like 18 and that was not that uncommon a few years ago so there was a moment when that person felt attracted for the kid long and maybe lots of teachers feel attracted for kids in classes I mean not kids baby kids let's say Let's keep it in a more common sense, 16, let's say. This is still a kid, but to make it something more common than, than little kids. So many people probably could feel attracted, but only a few of them actually take, uh, make a move and, and cause something to the child. We don't know how many people feel attracted to kids and don't say that because it's a taboo. So. It's a taboo, but it's a, it's a taboo, and it's of course it's a taboo. It's very wrong. But yeah, we don't know how many me, people. Yeah. For me, it's better when you can detect if you have a feeling with the youngest. But what if that person? What if that person never? What I, I I'm saying I'm saying this because I think that this is something that you are maybe born with, like maybe you you grow up like this, and there is nothing at some stage of your life. Maybe there is nothing you can do to avoid that thought. Because I've, I've heard a lot of interviews of criminals and they, a lot of them comment that there, is, there was nothing they could do to control the sexual impulse or the criminal impulse. So it, what it happens if that person cannot help thinking that, but it's not acting based on that. It's just, it cannot avoid the, the thinking, the thought, but just the thought maybe that person won't be a problem in society. So that's why I think and when it's the same for psychopaths. I'm like, what if that person changes? What if that person controls himself? Maybe he won't, but what if? We're going to block someone just because it's potentially dangerous? I think it could be like saying that all poor people are potentially thieves or that all rich kids are potentially uh, Piñera. So uh, I, I don't know how to describe too many adjectives into just one character. It's better to say the character. So um, I, not because maybe that kid won't be an abuser, abuser uh, owner of a company uh, or maybe the poor kid won't be a thief just because he's poor. Like, but yeah. I consider the result when you have this potential characteristic is really is terrified. Yeah. And if you can detect this potential, you need to you need to management the situation. If you can avoid the situation, maybe therapy. Maybe therapy, like right away. I think I'm not sure. no. I'm not sure. What do you think because we should the, do? Because what you action start with your thought. Yes, of course. Okay. But not all not all thoughts become actions. But I think that depends on the situation too. So because people are very normal that you see so normal and they get involved in a situation, complicated situation, and they uh, they can kill or they can abuse or they can I don't know. Or uh, normal people that are committing the crimes and you don't know. And yeah. you wouldn't say and they, they are perfect citizens. So Javier, what do you think we should do? With, let's say we identify with this scanner that, I don't know, Jorge, uh, Jorge there is uh, zoophilic. 
and that uh, he's, I don't know, five years old, six years old, <clears throat> what should we do? Or pedophile, yeah, let's keep it pedophile so we can keep it emotional. Wow. For me, it's terrible. I have a three. Yeah, kids. that's that's why that's why I'm 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 putting the example of the pedophile because you have kids and I, I know maybe it's, seven it's years touching. ago my opinion was different, but currently I think I try to avoid all kind of situation in, in, involve my kids. But what would I you do with that person? With with the with the person who is identified as a potential pedophile? What do you think as a society we could do? Well, I try keep uh, well. It's difficult. It's difficult for me. But um, maybe I establish they can't work with kids. I try to avoid in my home. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. It's no. It's, it's difficult. difficult. That's why. That's why I'm like I know, and 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 that's why I'm asking this question because I know you don't have an answer. I mean, probably there's some people could say I don't know. I'm gonna kill them all. And we would have a big discussion of, I don't know, punishment and, and pain and the um, um, death penalty and all that. Um, especially here when it would be death penalty without, for a potential yeah. crime. So we don't have any lawyers here. We were gonna miss Jorge Pinto in these discussions. Uh, I agree with, yes, yes. Sorry, this conversation is more complex than the episode. <laughs> Yes, of course. Our conversations are always more complex and more yeah, than, than than the episodes, and that's the idea of the episode to to yeah, set the topic for a very very big discussion. Yeah, maybe um, it's necessary another kind of uh, opinion for for develop what is the best. Uh, I'm I'm going to ask I'm going to ask the girls before we finish. Jorge, Jorge was just commenting that uh, for him, and I agree with you. For him, being a pedophile is as terrible as being a zoophilic. I agree. I don't have kids, but I have cats. And I would feel destroyed if someone rapes my cats. And there are people who rape animals. Many. I watch a documentary. It's one of my favorite documentaries ever because it's really sick. And it's about, it's called Zoo. And it's, you can find it on YouTube. And it's shocking, but it's a group of zoophilics talking about how much they are in love with their with their horses there he is saying that he loves his horse there's nothing he can do about that he spends christmas new year they have a wedding anniversary i mean it's not a wedding a relationship anniversary but that horse does not know that he has a relationship with this person and that horse does not want to have sex with that person because he's not sexually attracted to humans so it's rape on a different species. So I feel the same way. I, I, I really feel touched by the, the, the topic. Even without kids, I try to compare it with so Felix. So I think they're in the same level, but I think in both cases, they are, for me, just having the attraction is not the crime. So girls, or, or if someone would like to join the discussion here before we finish, um, do you think that if we had this scanner and we could identify potential pedophiles like this kid potentially pedophile or potential um, sophilic or potential criminal, potential psychopaths, what should we do with these people? Any of you who has the magic solution or maybe opinions? I want to compare the work uh, of my, no sé, I don't know what I say, cuñado. Your, ah, yes, your brother-in-law. You know how to say this, Kathy. Esa. Come on, it's like page 15, book two. <laughs> yeah. ¿Cómo era? Sorry. Brother-in-law. Yeah. The brother in-laws in are the, the political family. Okay. Yes, uh, he worked in Aldea, Aldea SOS, and he... Um, go out the family with um, these children um, but um, this organization gives help to family and the first option is that the children come back with uh, his family not an, another family I think that it's not the same, but you can give one opportunity for this type of person. 
you give uh, helps until your como crucificate before before yes before, before causing the, the the crucifixion give them the chance to confess maybe Yes, um, it is extreme because I I talk with her with him and I I I don't understand. Come on, I could understand understand, but he explained me that um, you can you can give an opportunity to to the parents for come back with uh, his child maybe because the father or mother had a problem, psychological problem that you can uh, work with this problem. Yes, or, 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 or the kid maybe is the one with the problem too. But it's all about therapy, especially when it comes to, uh, for this is something that I think it also caught my attention from the episode. Um, he was, I mean, this is gonna sound stupid because I'm gonna say he was poor, but of course like, it's not the poverty we understand in Chile because in Chile for that house the house he had for me he is like upper upper middle class um but for <laughs> for British he had a very modest house I noticed right away that the house looked modest unlike other episodes where you see big houses and rich people they show you right away when they're rich he was not rich he was average he had a average work job sorry he had he was average so we could say maybe this kid never had the chance to go to a psychologist or psychiatrist because that's what happens in in low classes that you don't have the money to get um, mental health so can we punish someone that no one tried to help or that no one helped or where were the where was the mother where were the teachers in the process can we know that? So yeah, this is a huge issue. Just wanted to, I couldn't, oh my God, it's a huge comment. Uh, my friend, would you like to share that idea before we finish? Or just the comment that you already shared? Just the comment, please. Yeah, uh, I, I haven't, I haven't really, I think in a pedagogical way, if all human beings are born in an equal potential capacity of being educated or not, we miss, we lose in some particular point, his her education, the exact lesson to contribute to avoid some kind of perversions. Perversions, oh my God, that word. Uh, we are not psychiatrists. There is a pattern, 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 maybe, but we always have the opportunity 50, 49% of make, make a change of that psychological problem. So matters if we are seven point blah, 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 of different and particular cases of people. Uh, I agree. Like, uh, yes, it's pedagogical. I think I cannot help that. We, we always have to give that person whatever specialist help. Uh, and um, now, I don't know if I would use the word perversion because perversion reminds me of, I don't know, uh, medieval Catholic church. I think these are, um, uh, for me, perversion would be to abuse a kid. I don't know uh it's uh, this is this is a uh, moral fiber i don't i don't think we're gonna reach any point because when it comes to values and that's why exactly what i think that these people are not criminals because we would never reach a full agreement on what's the punishment was it good was it bad because technically it was nothing it's potential so um i would like to ask you guys if there is any other common opinion thoughts that you would like to share before we finish uh no no i know it was dense and intense discussion today normally it's more fun but this episode was not fun at all <laughs> horses 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 yes i want to say something please maybe i am more extreme the limits are something moral because if you see child pornography you involve a lot of innocent child I not accept this behavior, not with kids. So I think that if you see child pornography, you must to be pay a penalty fee, maybe not a crime, but if I realize you see the child pornography, so you have to pay some penalty fee. 
And in the same way, you have to take a psycholo psychologic therapy. Yeah. Maybe you don't have the reserve for pay because it's very costly. I don't know. Yes, of course. But the expensive. government uh, have the obligation to help you. Take you care need of our, some yes. therapy. You need help because the cost, the social cost is hard with the child. So a, a penalty fee and therapy and helps. And we have to remember too that we accept has a socially correct uh, behavior now. Maybe uh, we didn't accept correct behavior in the past or in the future. Yes. For example, you say, if I like a woman, maybe in the past, it it was not accepted. Yes, so the society changing during the time. But with kids in other country, accept the you can marry with a kid in other country, for example. Yes. So I think the but years ago is permitted in Chile too. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't you know could, that. You could get married from so, 16 on 16 on yeah. if you had the permission yeah. from your parents. And I think we but all have, that, we all know someone that got married at 13, 14, uh, especially women. Ah, uh, yes, my family. grandma, for example. Yeah, yes, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. like, most grandmas got mothered uh, at a very early age with 30 something mm -hmm. men. Uh, that was pedophile too. But, but, yes. so yeah, for example, we have, not my case, but let's say because my grandmother strangely got married at 23. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let's say my grandmother got married with my grandfather. She was 13 and my grandfather was 27. I know a case like that. And I know that person never saw the grandfather as a pedophile. And he mm. thinks that his grandfather is a great man because he was a great man with him. And for him, it's like a father figure. And whoever thinks that that person is a pedophile is crazy because he's not. But he is. He got he got turned on with a thirteen year old girl. Yes, um, but maybe when I think about a child, I imagine a, a very little child. For yeah. example, four. Uh, but do you uh, think it makes a difference? Years old. Being four or being fourteen. Mm, for example, seventeen. For me, it's different. Uh, a kid is uh, four years old because. When you have four years old, you don't understand all. But when you, you, you grow, know. so it's different. Seventeen versus but but the problem years old, when it not? comes to law, <laughs> yes, of course, I agree with you. I think we all agree. That's what I was trying to put the example of the teacher with the sixteen something, uh, just to make it more less shocking. But when it comes to legal policies, if you think about it. The, the law cannot make that much of a difference. Like it's making it now from 14 mm. on is this and 14 uh, uh, before no. 14 is something different. But it's the limits are the problem. Where is the mm. limit? If you are 14, but you are sexually uh, stimulated, it's not that bad maybe that you could be 17 and being totally sexually isolated and that could be the same than hurting, I don't know, a four year old. Mm. So, I don't know, girls, this is going to, guys, in this case, guys, sorry, we're most, for the first time, we're mostly girls, I'm very yeah. happy about that, um, so yeah, this is, this is a big discussion, and this is something that is happening nowadays, and I don't know if you guys uh, watch it, but there is a Chilean show about the same, it's the same, that is called La Jauria, mm, it was pretty popular a few um, months ago, huh? you, you watch it? Yes, it's the same, the same, the same story. Um, but uh, I, we can also discuss, and this could be a whole different discussion, how much young people, and when it comes to La Jauria, for example, how much young people care about your public image on the web. For example, mm -hmm. maybe a boomer, a 40-something, would be caught watching child pornography and masturbating, and he wouldn't care because they don't have the same perception we have or younger people have on what it means 
your behavior in your internet behavior with others. So yeah, this could be a uh, forever discussion, girls uh, and guys. I just wanted to thank you for coming. I would love, I would love to keep you here next meeting and the future meetings. Uh, Veronica, Karen, Natalia, and Paola, uh, it would be great because we are it's just Katy and me here. We are most of the time all alone <laughs> against these ugly men that are, that are against Hernan. us sometimes. Hernan and, <laughs> and saying that, Hernan saying Hernan that okay. it's, not, it's not okay to watch your ex-boyfriend's profile on the web. And we were like, oh, no, that is very uncommon. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would love to keep you guys here. You are invited to come back whenever you want. And just wanted to also thank the usual comers, Javier, Katy, and my friends, dear friends. Jorge, uh, thank you for coming. It was a pleasure to meet you and thank you for your awesome contributions as usual. Um, see you next Thursday, same time, 8 p.m., episode four, season three. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, episode four, season three. Yes, yeah. episode yeah. four, season three. No, no four episodes. Pensé que tenían tres episodios cada sesión. No, no, no. The, 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 the Miley Cyrus act in depends on the season. The season. Uh, depends okay. on the this season. Okay, this season yes. has four. Okay. Yeah, the first sure. season yeah. had only three. Yeah. Thank you, Alicia. Ah, thank you. you, guys. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.